My name is Valerie Wilcox. I'm an artist, a mixed media artist. I use common materials, salvaged materials, and found materials in my practice. This is a way of giving hope and second chances to society that needs that at this point in time. My name is Ismael Deano III. I'm an artist. I was invited to participate in the Sulong Artist Residency along with Valerie Wilcox. We're both members of Durden and Ray, which is a Los Angeles-based artist-run gallery and artist collective. The title of our show is called Atmospheres of Influence. My installation is called Hyperpolyglots. So a hyperpolyglot is someone that is fluent in multiple languages and also visual language also too. This piece, Structural Integrity, is as you come closer to it, you see it's made from chopsticks. This piece is a sculpture that works with the chopsticks to create a tree-shaped form that talks about the growth of Taiwan, and it represents uh, the roots, also represent the, the base, uh, the economy and, and the culture and the society and the strength of the Taiwanese people in many ways and the independence of the people. So this other piece is made from paper mache, which is an old ancient technique. And I created these forms that are replicating the takeout boxes or to-go boxes. I was inspired by the night market. This piece uses that as a structural component and replicates kind of the idea of a city and this glows like the night markets. The cartons are in different shape to represent the different cultures around the world that use these. And they're oversized to give the larger impact of the food culture here. So what I do as an artist, I call what I do mutant practices. So it allows me to mix a lot of different techniques and strategies in my artwork. So what I was trying to do is to approach the subject in a genuine way as someone that's not from the culture to experience the culture. So the conversations with people that I met here also part of the material for this exhibition. And then also as a visual artist, sometimes I take the liberty of taking written or spoken language and using it like an art material, just like paint. So I can change it, I can turn it backwards, I can turn it upside down. And also this word design has words that are in Taiwanese, that are in Mandarin, that are in Dutch, that are in Japanese, and then also in Spanish because my heritage comes from there. And then also on the other side of this wall, and so I painted more kind of iconographic images on the walls that maybe people could recognize that are from Tainan. One of them is the milkfish toy. So I made it to like a bigger proportion. There's also a silhouette of Koshinga. So there's on the other side of the wall, there's two deer that kind of represent Shiraya people and how they celebrated the deer. So that was a way to kind of allow me to have a cross section with my experience being here and my own personal experience also too. Also, there are some kinetic rotating sculptures. So the platforms were actually on octagons. I was thinking kind of connect to like a Taoist symbol. So there's a lot of toys, there's a lot of souvenirs. So they're kind of spinning around, but it's kind of mixed with a lot of different elements. So same thing with the rotating sculptures. So when people see them, I want people when they experience this, I want them to make their own meaning also too. I did try to kind of give thoughtfulness on how I place things, but there is that kind of element also to this idea of, of like the mutants or whatever, or kind of like these mixtures of, of influences in, in cultures.